Hey everyone, welcome to another video. In this one, we're gonna provide a tutorial in how to clean your address data. So any unstructured text or string that meant to provide the address, how do we clean it? How do we parse address from this text? How do we break down different components of the address um, to make it a structure? So in this example, for instance, we have, um, as you can see in the picture, we have address, we break it down to house A being the building, um, the building number, the street number, street name, street type, direction, city, province or state or different sort of components that you may have. So this is a Python tutorial. We're going to provide actually two different ways of doing it using two different packages is address parser and US address and um, in other words you could call it uh, this is a parser of address um, Python project that we're going to tackle next. So let's have a look at the code script that we have and again as always um, this is an open access project uh, code everything is available for you to download and customize for your own need the information is available in description there is a blog link there where I provide a complementary step-by-step -step guide uh, to break down the, um, and I explain that in this video and you can find the links to access everything in that link in description as well so again the goal is parsing the address and the address is some sort of text uh, which is not structured uh, we want to structure and get different components of the address from it uh, from the address so this is in python again i use for simplicity and better clarification i use google collab environment this is the online platform uh, that i'm using of course you can um, download it as a Jupyter notebook, but you can convert it to a Python script as well and you can run it in any environment that you're more comfortable. Step one, as always, step one is initial settings packages. Again, you have the usual packages here, but the two different packages for our two alternative and two options to actually do the address parsing. Uh, we're gonna install it here and then load them. Is it address parser and US address? Step two is input data. And again, this is the sort of address you could try it for different type of address and you see what the result would look like. Uh, the address that I have here is mostly using the North American standard, but I would say it worth trying European or Asian or other type of um, address if you, the standard is different for different type of the world. You could try and see what is the outcome that you get but this is the uh, best outcome what you get based on if you apply it on data like this so the data again you may have any sort of data but at the end of the day your um, input data should be inputted to these um, packages and to these options as a list so this example i have some random address data here and as you can see uh, sometimes I, uh, I apply the comma separator, sometimes I don't have comma between them. So we want to try and actually it doesn't matter whether you have that uh, separation between them, but that's something interesting for us to see uh, whether it matters or not. But we have different addresses here and that's uh, we input it and we read it as a list. Next step is uh, we want to test the address. So um, First step is again we are using the main uh, and or the first option which is EZ address parser. The information is here. This is of course an open package, open source package. You can uh, find the information. This is a very interesting, nice uh, package when we uh, first initiate it uh, using um, address parser. Just call it to initiate and then we use this object going forward. Um, next, uh, we use the parse function to get the string of the address so we're gonna use the first one as an example and we're gonna put it in the function so the result of the parser is going to be stored in in this object called result let me zoom in a little bit um, so next you need some sort of for loop like this to get the result because it's some sort of dictionary so we get the result from it you get the labels or um, the the column if you will or the values for the uh, what are the different addresses whether it's a building unit unit number street name so those are your labels 
and the token or the values but this is actually the structured components of the address so as you can see in this case house a is the building then um, most of the time if you have a unit you either call it unit or upper apartment or or you either have a number sign like this so that's um, this is uh, the second one really means um, that uh, sort of a string or character that used to indicate and initiate a unit or house name or number but the unit number is different street number street name street type street direction municipality province and postal code as you can see so that's uh, there you go so again sometimes maybe in this case we can call province as a state as well um, so that's what we discovered so it seems it's working after running it uh, it seems it's working next step is okay let's actually apply this to to the whole data to all address data we're gonna apply this and for that then I need a bigger loop so at the end of the day I want my final outcome to be stored in a simple date data frame in a clear nice clean structured data frame so i'm gonna call that df um, this is just for index number of that day data frame the first loop is uh, the loop over all different um, address text that i have so i had uh, those text in the the first list that i have i call it list one uh, this full loop goes over each address one by one it calls the address parser gets the result and then it is stored the different component of the address in a token and value so next what you want to do uh, I have some specific configuration here which uh, it would be useful for actually cleaning the data in a nice way and I have an example here that why it makes sense to go it like this so what we have here is that if um, it could be possible that um, the address component is break down and you have two tokens uh, or two labels of the same value so you have two street names and um, in this case we want to combine those two street names because what actually happened that the street names were broken down to different parts whereas in reality that was actually one street name um, such as this exa example like uh, pumpkin hill um, avenue for example if you have something like this which is actually quite common you have a um, couple of words actually uh, conclude and it creates a specific component in this case add a street name um, this function and this method uh, identify them as two different street name so there are two different tokens uh, with same label if that's the case, if uh, they are the same label and most of the time it happens that they are con con consecutive because they just come after in, in my test. So what I did is that if there is a repeated label, what you're going to do, you're going to get the value and we're going to, what we're going to do, we're going to append it to the last token. So we're going to, if red, red, let's see if you already read pumpkin in the next iteration we read hill uh, but hill is already exist because the street name is already exist but we're gonna do instead of storing hill separately we're gonna append it to the previous um, value which was pumpkin and then this way we're gonna um, we're gonna do it this way and what we're gonna do so this is a loop it works if we have a situation like the pumpkin hill if we have if one component is breaking up to different components we want them we want to merge them again but eventually after each um, component uh, breakdown we're gonna uh, put all those components to different lists and uh, this is the end of the loop for each um, for the breakdown of each address once we break it down we have it for so far we have it in two different lists so this step that I have in middle it was just taking care of if you have two different components with the same name next what I'm gonna do I'm gonna store this breaking down components this parsed components to uh, one row of data in my main date date data frame which is actually what I'm doing here so this is uh, the tutorial this is a um, how to to create 
um, a data frame from two lists. One list is labels, which is the column names for me, and one list is values, which is the value of the data frame row in that loop. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna um, I'm gonna create that data frame. Uh, this is temp temporary because this is just one one row of data in this loop. Uh, I'm the values is of course based on the value list, and then I'm gonna transform it, trans transpose it. Sorry. And then I'm gonna get the column name from the label. So that's how you create a data frame based on the tool list that is created. And then I'm gonna append it to our main storage data frame here as we do it like this. And then we go to the next in index number and that's the index number for each row of um, the final data. So what we so that's the main step actually. Again, the main function was here parser. We had a little um, complication here. We just wanted to make sure we don't have repeated token val labels or we don't have repeated column names, and that's how we dealt with it. In, again, in my experimentation, that's how it uh, worked. Next, let's look at the result. The uh, result that we stored in the data frame, and as you can see. We have the different components are uh, having their own column and we have the column name, we have the values and as you can see sometimes some address doesn't have some components so which is fine but this is also a way to, for you to validate your data. Now we have, have postal codes, province, municipality or city name and different street components, address components separately. This was the case Pumpkin Hill that created the issue for me because this was first it was um, broken down to two different street name column but I wanted to merge them so that's how I actually added that um, step in that main for loop. So that's my result uh, for option one. Now option two uh, which is US address. Again um, this is actually very simple I just provide the way that you want you can initiate it and you get the result so this is US address tag function and you just put the a string value which is again we're just testing here using the first list value and as you can see we're gonna get uh, this which is a slightly different names for street uh, for address components but same idea like there is it, it now instead of building it call it the rest recipient and you have your street name type and direction and place name instead of municipality in different labels but same idea the thing is the output here is actually a ordered dictionary so you need to uh, if you want to store it in a list or data frame you need to um, convert it but the idea is similar how we apply it here for the option one you can apply it to the option two as well hopefully this is useful for cleaning your messy address data now you can structure it in two different ways let me know if there is any comment if there is any uh, other things that we can add to your use case. Hopefully it has been um, useful for you. See you in the next video.